Hello, God bless y'all in Jesus' name. Um, Libra is, uh, Venus is in Libra. Today is the 28th. Um, we only got the 28th, the 29th, the 30th, 31st, about four more days. And on the 1st, the moon jumps in there. The man-child snatched up on the 8th day. Um, I got something to tell you. It's kind of like a rapture update. I hope you all doing well in Jesus' name. Um, in the movie, The Avengers War Infinity, sp sp watch it in captions. That part. Like, go watch it on Netflix. Spider-Man says something interesting. He says, I don't want to go. 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 Spider-Man says he's going somewhere. They're not dying. If you were to watch the whole movie, they portrays it as dying. As them dying. They're not dying. Spider-Man says he don't want to go. We're going to be snatched up. Just like in the movie, they're being snatched up. One is taken, one is left. Just like in the Bible says, two are in bed, one is taken, one is left. Two are in a field, one is taken, one is left. Two are grinding, one is taken, one is left. Just like in the movie. Go watch it. I'll put it in the description box of the movie again, but I don't know if you can watch YouTube in captions. But go to Netflix. I did it on my phone. Netflix. You can watch Infinity War. The Avengers Infinity War. And go to the part where Spider-Man's talking. You can watch the whole end part where they're vanishing to see how one is taken one is left. But Spider-Man says a mouthful. He says more than all the other ones. He says, I don't want to go. I don't want to go. I don't want to go. And he's talking to Tony Stark. He don't want to go. And then, at the, then he says he's sorry when he leaves. I don't know why he says sorry. But then he vanishes. You know, they, the evil people know something. Maybe he tells him he's sorry because, I don't know, he didn't tell him about God. He didn't tell him about Jesus. I don't know. But Spider-Man tells him, I'm sorry, before he vanishes. I don't know. Something to think about. He says he's sorry, then he vanishes, Spider-Man. And he says, I don't want to go. I don't want to go. I don't want to go. So it, it's something to think about. They know something. So go watch Netflix and captions. I did it on my phone. I'm watching Inf um, Avengers Infinity War. And go to the part where Spider-Man is vanishing. And you'll see. He says, I don't want to go. I don't want to go. He says, I don't want to go. They're going somewhere. And then he says he's sorry. The only thing I can see that he could be sorry for is he didn't tell Tony Stark about Jesus. I mean, why else would he say, I'm sorry? He didn't tell him. I mean, what else could it be? Just before he vanishes, he says, I'm sorry. So it's something to think about. Time is up. Our king is coming. Jesus is King of Kings, Lord of Lords. It's the glory of God to conceal the matter. It's for kings to search it out. Well, I've searched out the matter. And the matter is, is, is the rapture. January the 1st, 2019 is our day. Our day to be gone. To be snatched out. And the world, once we're gone, they won't have to hear about God, about Jesus anymore. Because we're gone. Just like in Amos 8, it says there's a famine. Not a food, not a water, but a famine of hearing the word of God. Yes, when we are gone, they will not be able to hear the word of God. Because we are gone. Jacob's trouble will begin. And Jacob has to go through it. Israel, it only makes sense that God is coming back to judge the world at the beginning of when the Gentiles 
celebrate a new year. This is not for Israel. Remember, Israel is going through trouble times, troubling times. It's Jacob's trouble. God loves Israel. He's going to protect the 144,000 Jews. The judgment and the wrath is coming for the Gentiles of the world. It's not coming for Israel. So it only makes sense God's wrath would start at the beginning of a new year. Happy New Year when everyone celebrates the new year. When they all get drunk. Shoot, when some of them are drunk, they might not even realize what happened. They'll be so drunk. Then they'll wake up the next morning. Can't find people. The time is up. Accept Jesus into your heart as your personal Savior. And He'll redeem you. He loves you. He died for you. He's your King. He's your Lord. Jesus is King of Kings and Lord of Lords. It's coming right now. Spider-Man says, I don't want to go. I don't want to go. They are not dying. And then he says, I am sorry. What is he sorry for? Because he didn't tell Tony Stark about Jesus? I mean, what in the world is he sorry about? Why did they put that in there? Why is he sorry? He's going and Tony's not going? I don't know. I know one thing. Jesus is coming right now. And the children of darkness, the evildoers, they know what's going on. They're putting this in the movie because in the movie, they portray the alien guy as taking them. You see? This is what they're doing. This is the grand, the, the grand scheme of things. When we vanish, oh, the aliens took us. That's what they're going to tell everybody. See, we showed you in the movie, this big old guy, with he had these stones on his hands. He came and got those people. The aliens did it. They want everyone to believe the aliens. Well, guess what? There is no aliens. And yes, there probably is aliens, but there is no aliens. What I mean by that is, the aliens are demons. They are fallen angels. They are lying to the people. They're going to show up probably when we vanish. And they're going to probably back up the story that's been played on Avengers Infinity Wars. But we know. That's another, wise, another reason why we can't be here. When they show up, we have the power because they're demons. They're not aliens. We can call Jesus and command the demons to leave. And the demons have to leave. So we're here. The demons have to run. God says that. And he also says, don't be excited, more excited what that the demons are afraid of you or something. Be more excited that your name is written in the book of life. He's coming right now. Right now, our Lord is coming. And yes, I would imagine once the rapture happens, and the one that's holding it back, which is the Holy Spirit, is taken out of the way. Yes, I would imagine the demons, the devil, are going to have more power. Because we're out of the way. Jesus is coming right now. It says the Antichrist is going to cause fire to rain down from heaven. He's going to fool people. It says even the elect could be fooled if it were possible. So I think that's another reason why we can't be here. Because when that guy, when that, when that, when the Antichrist shows up, that character, and he calls fire down from heaven, I imagine it's going to be very convincing that he's somebody important. But God says nothing in life, death, demons, or angels can separate us from the love of God. Romans 8, 28. We're not going to be here. We're gone. We're vanished. Well, in Jesus' name, I bind up the demons, whatever they try to do to God's children of light, God's chosen children, his bride, his bride, they'll bounce in their face. And whatever the evildoers, the children of darkness, try to do will bounce in their face, in Jesus' name. And protect Israel, the 144,000 Jews. Protect all of Israel in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, 
Let your kingdom come. Let your will be done in heaven and on earth. In Jesus' name, amen. Talk to you later. In Jesus' name, protect all your children of the world, on the whole world. In Jesus' name, amen. Talk to you later. Have a nice day. Bye.